Hello, hello everyone. So when you hop on, say hello. My name is Val Nichols. I am a business coach for heart-centered, purpose-driven entrepreneurs just like you who are looking to grow and scale their business. And that is exactly what we're about during this series. And today we're gonna kick it off talking about how to build your audience with confidence and ease. And so often, it's easy for people to say, yeah, Val, you know, it's easy for you to sell or it's easy for you to make money because you have an audience. But it's like, I have this audience because I have built said audience, right? I make the money because I've been able to attract the right people into my business through the exact strategies that I'm going to teach you today. So if you're here for it, if you are ready for it, say hello. Let me know you're here so that I can say hi to you. Let me know, do you have an audience? Are you looking to grow your audience? And where are you looking to grow your audience? This could be Instagram, Facebook, email. If you guys don't have an email list, you definitely wanna make sure that you're building your email list as well. Because as we know, any moment in time, your social media can go away, right? We are renting this space. We do not own this space. That's why this stuff is so important. So often people think that they're just going to start a business or they're going to put a website up or they're going to do a couple reels and they're just going to blow up overnight, right? I had heard a study recently and don't quote me on it because I do not remember the source that 15%, percent of 18 year olds today who are graduating high school think they're going to be a millionaire by the time they are 25. And that is just not realistic. You know, a lot of people think that they're going to just put up a website, put up a social media content, and then all of a sudden they're going to blow up. And unfortunately, that's just not the case. So one of the things that I see happen for people is that they are putting the wrong things first. Right, they're putting the wrong things first. And you know, if you believe, which it can happen, you know, I was making my first eleven thousand dollar month in this company, in this business, in this Facebook book group. It used to be called the High Vibe Tribe. If you guys remember that, say high vibe in the comments. But back when it was the High Vibe Tribe, I had probably 212 people in this group, and I made my first eleven thousand dollar month cash. Um, within let's say, six months of starting this business. I was still in corporate when I started this business and I knew in my heart that I was meant for something more. If you relate with that, put me, put more in the comments. If you know you're made for something more, um, you know, when I was in the corporate world, I was making great money. I knew that I was meant for something more and I just kept wondering why each and every single day I was waking up or putting my head on my pillow at night saying, oh my goodness, there's got to be more than this. I felt like I should have been happy. I felt like I should have felt better in my life. But for some reason, I just kept feeling a pull to do something more. So if that's you, if you relate with that, put your put me in the comments, right? I'm going to share with you guys some tactics, some strategies, some juicy, delicious secrets that I use when I'm doing a consultation with a new client or, you know, I start to dive in with a new client and we're looking at their content, we're looking at their offers. And, you know, something I noticed to be true, this just happened with a client not very long ago, was that I noticed this pattern of behavior that she was having, right? She came to me and she's like, hey, look, I need to build a brand. I want to take my business online. She was doing some incredible things in the real world, but she said, I wanna take my business online because what I see is that I wanna be able to you know, spend the years, my, my late 40s, my 50s, my 60s, traveling, doing more, spending more time serving people. I wanna help women and I want to be able to be a great grandparent, you know, to have these time with my littles and, you know, just be able to work when I want and not be tied down to this idea of a traditional business. I was like, great, let's do this. We can totally get you there. We can get you to your goal. We can get the thing. We can do the thing. Let's do it. And within six months, she came to me saying, 
okay, something happened. And I was like, walk me through what happened. You were doing so well. Things were happening. We were, um, I was a little more hands off on her company at that point because she was experiencing wild success. And I was like, walk me through the process so that I understand. And what I noticed what happened, which is very, very, repeat, very, very common for a lot of entrepreneurs out there. And if you're ADHD, like I am, this is even more common and more likely. But what was going on was that the moment she achieved some success, the moment she saw some success, she would stop. She would pull back. She would stop creating the consistency. She would stop doing the thing. She would stop doing the daily, um, you know, 20 minutes of activities that we had determined for her to do that had gotten her to this point where now she's making, you know, 10, 15, $20,000 a month. And so I look, I asked her to walk me through the process. And the thing that happened was that all of a sudden she was in this start, stop, start, stop energy. Every time she would get a little bit of success, she'd float. She'd fly high on that. She'd stop. Pull, she'd pull back. She'd stop doing her daily activities. She would stop doing the things that were getting her the success, that were growing the audience. And then what would happen is she would then get into like a desperate mode or a um, scarcity mindset, a scarcity mindset of like, oh my gosh, now my three month clients are turning out, my six month clients are turning out, I'm seeing less income come in. She'd get into a scarcity mindset and then again, go full force and kick back into the habit, wondering why it wasn't working for her. And if you guys are hearing this story and you relate with this, you recognize it, just know you are in good company. I just took two months completely off in all of my companies. I worked with a very few select of my VIP clients. Other than that, nothing. No master classes, no trainings, no events. And I'm used to doing at least one or two a month. I went zero, right? This was for good reason. It was with purpose and causation and we planned for it. So there was a lot of prep in it. There was a lot of social media prep. There was a lot of, um, you know, momentum going on. But what happens is people get in this start, stop, start, stop energy in this space where the moment they see a result, a results, I'm talking good or bad, any type of results, they stop, they pull back. And if you are trying to build your audience based on that, based on, am I getting to 10,000 followers? It took me two, almost three years when I started paying attention to my Instagram, about two and a half years. I think we're about to go into year three of really focusing on Instagram. It took me three years, three years ago in October. So just under three years, I had 700 Instagram followers. Today I have 10,200 Instagram followers. That took three years of consistency. That took three years of showing up. That did not just happen overnight. I did not pay for my followers. They are all organic. They are all authentic. They are all people who would most likely open their wallet and pay. They are people that are aligned with my content. It's not any type of sleazy sales tactics. Anyone that teaches you any way of just like, you know, getting all these followers and doing these things, like what is the point if you're not actually making the money, right? What's the point if you're not making the money? That's why building your audience with confidence and ease is so important. Important. Someone drop that in the comments. Say confidence and ease in the comments. With my client, let her walk me through what was going on in her companies, what was going on for her, what was coming up for her. What happened is I noticed this pattern and this energy of start, stop, start, stop. She would see the success. She'd get to a certain point and she would just completely go blank. She would stop and then get in that point of desperation. And then she'd be spinning her wheels, trying to make up for it and trying to catch up. And so what we did is I said, hey, look, what I'm going to encourage you to do over the next six months 
If you guys need to break it down into three months, do that. This is the literally the brain trick for all my neurodiverse people out there. I trick my brain into committing to things in three month chunks. So I say for this three months, this is the focus. For this three months, this is the focus. And you know, the hard part is so many people are focused on this short term thing. Again, they think they're going to put up the website. They're, they think they're going to make the offer and all of a sudden they're going to blow up and have $100,000 in sales and all these things, which just is not reality, right? So if you want to build your audience with confidence and ease, I'm going to suggest to you the exact same thing that I told my client when I recognized this behavior. I told her, shift your focus. Because what happens is when we are so focused on making the money, right? Like, I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram story. I just did a story right before I hopped on about this, that if you're looking to make $100,000 in your business and you want to grow your audience, the wrong thing to focus on is making $100,000 in your business and growing your audience. When you shift your focus, What you're now focused on is you guys, I'm in year six of my company, year six of this business. I've had a business since I was 11. So I've been in business now for over three decades, um, almost three decades. And so, you know, when you shift your focus from being this short term gain, this short term goal, making the hundred thousand dollars to now saying, you know what, within five years, I want to make $100,000. In five years, I want to be making $100,000 and I want to have such and such an audience. What do you want it to look like? Create the vision, create the beautiful, bold vision and shift your focus instead from I want to make $100,000 to what are the activities I get to commit to that will make the $100,000? And then after that, once you get that mapped out, if you need a strategy, that's exactly what I do. If you guys want to get on a consult call, um, let me know. Let's jump on a consult call. I will teach you how to make four hundred, a hundred thousand dollars in your in your business. And you get to your responsibility is to commit to the actions that will get you that hundred thousand dollars. And you guys, what happens? And exactly what happened for my client was she stopped showing up to her audience trying to get something. She stopped showing up and looking at people as if they were a sale, as if she was so focused on getting that hundred thousand dollars that she was looking at people in her sales calls like, are you going to be the one that's going to get me the hundred thousand dollars? So instead what she did and what I encourage you guys to do is to commit to the action that is going to get you the hundred thousand dollars. If that means showing up live on video twice a week, regardless of the, the outcome, whether if the outcome is up here, when you start to see the uptick, when you start to see the the following build, when you start to see your confidence build, when you start to see the income come, or if you start to see the haters, if you start to see your income dip, if you start to see a lull, if you start to see whatever, if you start to see a dip in followers, you are committed to showing up regardless of up if you see the results or you see the results. Because what happens is now, as we're building our audience, and you guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's gonna take you at least six months, nine months, a year of showing up consistently to even start to find your voice. You can work with a coach, you can work with someone like me to help you find your brand voice, find your story, and that's gonna be taking away a lot of that time. If you are consistently showing up, it's gonna take you time to build your audience, to even find your voice to discover how to teach, discover how you love to serve, to find your brand voice and to start really having experiences that you can actually talk about instead of just copycatting what everyone else is doing, right? 
So it's going to take you a good solid year, uh, six months to start even finding that focus, to find out who you want to serve, who you want to work with. And if you need to know who that is, go back and watch day one. I talked about how to build your niche, right? How to build your niche to increase your profits. So if you missed day one, go watch that after you're done with this, of course, go watch the replay of day one where I talked about how to build your niche to grow your beautiful profits. So, you know, when you get there, when we shift our focus, what happens now is instead of looking at the bank account, instead of looking at the daily followers, and I know there's some of us out there that go into our Instagram or our YouTube each and every single day, I focus on serving, focus on this big word that is going to scare a lot of you and it's going to freak you out. Consistency, consistency. I know it's hard. I have ADHD, I get so distracted. I love to travel, I've been enjoying summer. I, you know, went through a divorce a year and a half ago, like felt so like torn apart. I understand, you know, there's kids at home, there's jobs that are happening, there's husbands to take care of, there's wives that you that need you, but consistency is key. Consistency can look like one reel a day. It can look like two reels a week. It can look like one live a week. Whatever consistency looks like for you, do that. Do that. Because the more consistent you are, the more the algorithm is going to favor you. The ever-changing algorithm always loves consistency. Consistency is whatever you can do, whatever you can commit to, and then do that. So for one year, think about six months. Think about three months. 90 short, little, beautiful, delicious days. And commit to showing up consistently over those 90 days. And focus not on your follower count. Focus not on the number of likes. Focus not on the comments that you're getting. Focus not on your reach. Focus not on any of, I don't care about any of that stuff. Because I've had people who are in my world who have been following me for years that will message me and say, I'm ready to work with you. I've been watching your content. I've seen all your stuff. I've seen your testimonials from your clients and I'm ready. And I've never seen one comment. I've never seen one like. Nothing. I've met people in the real world who will approach me at restaurants and say, I watch all your stuff. I love it. You've changed my life. And I've never even seen them comment, like, share anything. So just know within your inner being, right? I'm going to ask you guys to stretch your abilities. I'm going to ask you to stretch your imagination and I'm going to ask you to stretch your belief for just a moment. That if you focus instead, not on your number count or how many likes you can get or how many comments you have or how many followers you have, but instead you say, I'm going to do the activities for the next 90 days. I'm committed to the long run. I'm committed to a year. If for the next year I do the activities that are going to make me a hundred thousand dollars and instead of looking at your bank account, looking at your followers, looking at how many people are liking your stuff, looking at how many people are sharing or saving or whatever, like we can talk about all those tactics. That's just glamour metrics. And instead you shift on putting your confidence and your self esteem on did I show up today and remain consistent? Did I show up today and do that one, two, maybe three things that I've committed to doing? Am I working on making sure I'm consistent with the podcast each week? Am I putting it out every single time? Am I committing to hitting that 400 
podcast goal. How long is that going to take? As long as it's going to take, right? It's going to take as long as it's going to take. But if we shift our focus instead from how many followers, what can you do to beat the algorithm? What's going on here? Like what? Blah, 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 blah. To focusing our confidence on, am I doing the things to get to 10,000 followers? Am I doing the things to get to $10,000 this month to $100,000 this year? And in that, you are not only going to attract the right people into your audience, into your business, but you are going to do it with wild confidence and ease. Because when we take the shift off of the outside factors, who's coming in, what's going on, who's watching my reels, who's watching my stuff, how many comments do I have, how many likes do I have, what is the algorithm doing, blah, 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 blah. When you focus your shift and you shift it entirely to am I being the person Am I consistently doing the things that will get me to $100,000 this year? Your entire confidence, your entire psyche, and your entire being is now 100% focused on you, your power, your beautiful, juicy, delicious authority, your ability. It's no longer on this outside source. It's no longer in this external thing that you may never satisfy. You are now empowered. You get to embrace and have authority over your own life and your confidence is going to skyrocket. So let's shift our focus. As we build our audience, let's be consistent Let's shift our focus from the algorithm, from the things, from all the people. Go back and watch my video from yesterday about discovering your niche to increase your profits. That's going to help you know who you're talking to. And now what you want to do is you want to know how to show up. And with knowing who you're talking to, how to show up and then committing to that process, committing to that consistency, You are ultimately going to build your audience with confidence and ease. So I hope you guys got a ton out of this. Thank you so much for watching today. This has been day two of the hot summer profits masterclass. Go back and watch day one. Tomorrow I'm talking about how to build out your powerful business strategy. So do the work. Take out your calendar, take out a piece of paper and just ask yourself, what am I committed to? What actions can I take over the next year, over the next six months, over the next 90 days to get me to my goal? And then start grading yourself, not on the results, whether if it's up or if it's down, because you can't please everyone all the time. It's not linear. It's like this. It's like a big jumbled thing. Grade yourself and commit. Commit one day a week, you're going to do this. Two days a week, you're going to do this. You show up, be consistent, and then base your confidence on that. And you are going to see your audience skyrocket, your confidence skyrocket, and you are going to do it with ease. You'll be so proud of yourself, and I am so proud of you too. If you do this, let me know. If you are doing it, then Tag me at It's Val Nichols and let me know that you're doing this. If you're like, hey, I'm going consistent, I'd love some support and accountability. Let us know in this group. We would love to support you. Um, Let me know what did you get from this? What did you hear me say in this training that you are going to take away and you are going to savor and put into action because that is the most important piece. I can give you guys strategy all day long. I can motivate you. I can give you the rah-rah. But if you don't do anything with it, it's going to stay right here. 
please do take the time for you, for your audience, for your future to do this work and let me know how it works out for you. Let me know if you're committed to taking consistent action, put consistent, and then let us know in the group so we can support you as well. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow for day three. 